Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take another look at Fitbit Sync issues with Android phones. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you've got a Fitbit device and you're struggling for it to sync with your phone or you're having troubles with Bluetooth disconnecting, then it's potentially going to be a power management issue. Now you can try all the other things like restarting the app, restarting the tracker, all those kinds of things. But if you're having problems, generally it seems to be to the app actually timing out during connection. So how do you fix it? Well, luckily I've got my phone with me, so I'm gonna go through now and show you exactly how to do it. Now. This is a quick notice, your Android version may look slightly different from mine. This is Android 8.1, so this fix essentially is for Android 8 and 8.1. If you're using versions other than that, you may have to have a delve around in your settings to find the appropriate place. So that's that out of the way. Let's get on and change our battery settings. So the first thing to do is to click on the cog to get your settings menu. And in the settings, go down to the area that says battery. Now, in the battery section, you've got the power management. So if you've got battery saver turned on, I suggest you turn that off because that will actually reduce the ability of Fitbit's app to communicate with your device. Now, the next thing to do is to check in the background activity manager. Now, this is used as a power saving technique by Android phones to prevent apps running in the background at times. So if your background activity cleaner is turned on, scroll down and just see if you can find your Fitbit app. Now on my particular device, the Fitbit app isn't selected and the background activity cleaner isn't selected, so we're all good. But if yours is on, I would suggest you turn it off. So if we go back a level and back into the battery menu, in the top right hand corner of your device, you should see three little dots to bring up the context menu. So go ahead and click on that. In that menu, you've got battery optimization and show full device usage. So in this instance, we want battery optimization. So at the moment it's showing that the system is not optimized, which is fine. If yours does say optimized, you wanna change it so that it isn't optimized in the menu. Now, as you can see at the moment, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the Fitbit app is listed in there as being not optimized. Now this is for good reason, this is to allow the Fitbit app to have full range of all the battery requirements it needs to maintain its duty and to keep the Bluetooth functionality going. I'm gonna click on the Fitbit and at the moment I'm gonna choose Optimize and then click Done. So at the moment, the Fitbit app is in an optimized condition. So now it will really struggle to synchronize data. So if you want to add your Fitbit app to the list of devices or apps that isn't optimized, if you click on the down arrow, and choose all apps. Now there's gonna be a lot in here, so this may take a little bit of scrolling. So go all the way down through all the applications until you find your Fitbit application. And as you can see at the moment, it says Fitbit optimizing battery use, which is something we definitely don't want. So click on Fitbit and you've got the option here, obviously the reverse of what we had previously. So we can choose to optimize which is recommended for battery, better battery life, but we don't want that. We want don't optimize. Now it does give you the warning, it may drain your battery more quickly, but that unfortunately is a necessity. If you wanna keep your Bluetooth going to keep that synchronization and to allow it to actually connect the first time round, you do have to have it unoptimized. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And now if I click on all apps at the top and go into not optimized, you can see now Fitbit has been added again as a not optimized application. So hopefully this will allow your Fitbit device to synchronize properly with the Fitbit app. And also if you're having difficulties getting your Fitbit to do its initial setup, when you first get your device, this is definitely worth looking into in case you're having any problems. So this has been how to hopefully sort out the synchronization issues with your Fitbit device and the Fitbit app. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.